welcome back to the channel nba 2k 23 is officially here guys and i'm excited about it now i've put a lot of time into this game in fact i've put 48 hours into the game the majority of which has been my career but if you didn't believe me take a look at the screen squint your eyes if you need to but that says 48 hours so what's more fitting than the first 48 of nba 2k 23 the majority of my time has been spent playing the my career so first and foremost i don't think the my career is necessarily mandatory this year nor do you have to finish it i feel like if you're grinding badges and you feel like going and doing these challenges you know go ahead um but if you don't want to do the challenges you don't have to you're not missing out on a lot of vc you're not really missing out on a whole lot um it's rudimentary you pretty much just do the same quest over and over again you do get to meet some cool characters and see the people that collaborated with 2k which i do give them credit that is probably the only thing that really kept me going like trying to completely beat the my career is you never really know who you're gonna meet uh you meet a lot of cool characters man you meet devin booker tyler hero um you get a scenario where you either get to play with tracy mcgrady or kevin garnett you get to play with dr disrespect j cole you get to meet and see a lot of unique individuals in the game and i think for that 2k deserves a tip of the hat um the department where 2k does not deserve a tip of the hat though is how many games they make you play i mean i don't know what the minimal you can get away with but i do know that i've played 31 games and that is rough um i probably could have got it done a little less but i don't know man it, it, it's a lot of games and it's like you complete a mission it's like go play two more games and then you finish this and it's like go go two more three more and then there's a one segment where you got to do six and it's just tedious um you could get through it a lot quicker but i do think they designed this to where you can't just finish it in seven days or whatever the case is you can't just finish it really quick you actually have to put a good bit of time in it if you want some of the um aesthetic items and that's really what you're playing for i mean you get vc obviously but it's far and few in between games and in the amount of stuff you have to do and so if you're looking at it as like the fastest vc method i don't think that's the case last year you could get a lot of vc just playing the my career and, and doing all of the challenges but this year it's not they gutted it which is honestly pretty predictable because last year it was pretty broken you could make a lot of vc in a short amount of time so this game uh goes without saying it has bugs um i'll throw a couple up on the screen real quick just to take a look at the couple that i experienced i just encountered this amazing bug where my camera angle is now permanently glitched <laughs> let's see if i can get a bucket give me the ball i made it <laughs> you guys split and honestly it's pathetic he sits on the bus and he cries I mean, I mean, you know, no, and you come on mila you came all this way for a free ticket no you love this boy so stop playing and let's figure it out quickly please right, right. come on I mean, if you're gonna have that baby agent, I saw yesterday he representing you, then I think you might need me around for some advice. What are you doing, homie? Bad up, okay? Beautiful. Now that this is settled, can we please go back to what's important? Yes. And that's me celebrating with my team, my whole team, the national championship. As you can see, there are random guys standing in our championship celebration. It's just, you can't make this up, man. It's just typical 2K cutscene dramatics, if you will. But all in all, I do think the career is decent. Um, not a lot of bugs, a lot of app crashes. Um, a side tangent, I did have a friend of mine did his Gatorade workout, did not get his stamina bar in 
wreck or in my career at all and now it's saying that he has to wait four days so little nuances obviously these things gonna happen it sucks when it happens to you obviously or someone you know so hopefully those things get worked out but as a collective piece to wrap everything up i don't think the my career is something you have to put all your time and effort into unless you want the few aesthetic items there are a handful of items that i do think are cool and worth it and they're unique um other than that the monetary value the vc that you're gonna get i think you should really just stick to playing it as necessary if you need badges or you don't have people on and you can't grind then play it if not it's not really a big need to do so because there's only a handful of things that you're gonna get when it's all said and done none of which is a big sum of vc that being said i'm gonna play the two ending cutscenes here so you see the rewards and as they're presented and if you're interested in learning all this on your own don't watch this end here if you don't care then by all means check out what you get i think it's pretty cool um if you're not gonna give me vc and that's not an option i think this is pretty cool to kind of be able to spawn in every time and tip my hat Ladies and gentlemen of Hammond Park, I present to you the one and only, the heart and soul of this city, the captain of this year's classic championship squad, M.P. Hey, Chuck, you in your boy's face, man? That's priceless. Oh, man. Yo, real talk, man, Shep. Heck of a job out there, man. It was fun battling with you. I don't need that. Thank you, brother. Mr. Kenny Cruz, man, thank you. You class act. You earned it. Thank you, thank you, yeah, thank man, you. man, you earned it. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Go ahead, take your bow. <laughs> Let's go! joining us today as we bestow one of the rare honors in all of sport on our beloved MP. Some people told me it was too soon to give MP his own statue. And to those people, I say if you knew MP like I know MP, <laughs> you know that no one's a sure thing in this business than this young man right here. MP, it's your day. Say a few words to your adoring fans. Thanks, Phil. Um, I don't know what you're supposed to say when someone builds a statue in your honor. Uh, it's definitely not the kind of thing I was dreaming about as a kid. Uh, MVPs, scoring titles, championships, yes, that's the kind of stuff, but a statue, man, that's, that's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> but then again, you know, that just um, goes to show the amount of love you guys have for me. You know, it, it wasn't always that way, but uh, <laughs> we finally here now, and I appreciate that. And I'm also impressed. You know, you guys really got my likeness with this one. <laughs> um, but I guess I'll close out by saying thank you guys. Each and every one of you, this amazing organization, this amazing city, Phil. Uh, and I promise you that the love will always be in return. So thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here you go. If you want to know what playing my career and finishing the game out will get you, there it is. Right there, bronze statue of yours truly. It's pretty cool. 
I got the Clippers uniform on. That's super cool, actually. That's dope, man. <laughs>